Just in it. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is a test. We're making sure everything is running operational. Okay. Hello. Testing one, two, three. Can you hear me? Hello. Huh. Hello, testing one, two, three, one. I wonder why the volume's not high enough. All right, well, I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and do this and see how it works. And last time I had the wrong, I had another camera and I used that camera and it didn't work. Anyway, this is Brian Young, ProTinkerToys.com, shipping with Brian. You know, it's uh, Thursday, May the 21st. Uh, okay, go upstairs and play. Um... Thursday, May the 21st. Uh, okay, go upstairs and play. All right, so that's it. I'm just going to keep that on here. I think the, the speaker is, the sound is okay. I got the speaker at the highest level, basically. I could probably change this. Hello, testing one, two, three. Okay, can you hear me? All right, whatever. Okay. So, um, this is Brian Young, ProTinkerToys.com. Shipping with Brian. This is the day we're shipping with Brian. We're going to ship some items here. Okay, I've got a Don Gartlet. He's been selling really well. Don Gartlet. Legends of the Quarter Mile. Why is the Legends of the Quarter Mile so popular? And then we've got a Plymouth Cuda. Plymouth Cuda Dodge Charger. Uh, oh, that's a red, a white car. I'll show you the white cars. The, right, the white cars are nice. Um, let me show you a white car. Now, the white cars are uh, Auto World. They make, what they do is they take a specific car and then they put white wheels on it and they make it a white, a white version. And we have these listed and they're limited edition. I don't have a lot of them. Anyways, oh, what was that? Hello, where is Frankie? Oh. What did you want? Whatever. You, you, don't, you don't like to listen, do you, Missy? I said for you to stay in your room until Mom gets done. Okay, so we have... Don Gillis and Legends of the Quarter. Both these are Legends of the Quarter Mile. Very popular cars. 
I've been selling a lot of these cars. Not on my website, on eBay. People need to buy uh, excuse me, more stuff on my website, hotinkertoys.com. But it needs a lot of work too. We need we keep putting things on it, but I need to put more stuff on it. Now, a do, a, a, you know another car that's really popular is this Golf. This this um, the VW Golf made by Spirit. Now Spirit was started from some people that used to work at S at Scale Electric in Spain. This is a nice, this is a popular car. So lots of them. Okay, so we got Don Gullis, a blue Viper. A blue Viper, 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 Viper. That's a 440, 440X2. We also are getting uh, Race Masters in next week. Race Masters slot cars. I'm getting a bunch of cars, a bunch of sets. I'm just going all in. You know, I finally realized something that, you know, I'm 60 years old. You know, I might as well just go broke selling slot cars. So I'm just going to buy everything I can. And then uh, if I can't sell it, I'll give it to my sons. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, we are, um, we're selling a lot of stuff. It's not just selling stuff, it's just having fun. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to pull everything for shipping. Um, wearing a mask. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you while I'm shipping. Wearing a mask. All right, so let's understand what these masks are. They do not stop a virus. They only stop the spittle that comes out of your mouth when you talk. Because when you talk, a lot of fluid comes out of your mouth. Lots of it. Just do do me a favor. When you're if you t uh, look at your cell phone, the, the mirror on your cell phone, see if there's a lot of spots on it. Because especially if you talk to it, I'm terrible at this, so I'm not going to say anything. Okay, um, Okay. so let's see who's on today. Let's see here. We have, I am awake. Ron Gardner's awake. Are you, you, are you, uh, they are useless. Yes. I can hear you. Okay, great. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to go upstairs, and I want to. I want you to see. You should be able to hear me fine. I'm going to go upstairs, and then give me about a minute, and then say, yes, we heard you upstairs. Okay, that's what I want you to do, because I want to see. Because I'm going upstairs to get a Lego set that somebody bought. Okay, so um, I'm going upstairs here. Where'd you get this? Oh my God, give it to me. Frankie opened it. Did you open it? Go sit on the stool. Oh my gosh. It's... If it's not one thing, it's another, guys. I told him not. He he doesn't listen. He just doesn't he doesn't listen. I I don't know what to do. I really don't. I told I gave Frankie a nice toy to play upstairs, and I told him just go up here and quietly sit and play. Can he do that? No. Nope. And then he gets in trouble. I I give up, guys. I. I give up. I mean, maybe it's because they've been home for the last two months, which should be criminal with the 
you know, I'm paying all my state taxes. Okay, so I'm going to give you a rant right now because I'm really upset. You know, so we pay all these taxes for schools and everything, and 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 they haven't been going to school because of this stupid, which the kids should have gone to school because they're the least affected by this whole dumb thing. I'll tell you, for the love of Mike. And then Frankie comes up here and he opens up all my caps. Well, he can just sit on the stool for the rest of the day. He doesn't want to listen. I know what he did. Yeah. Just go over there and sit and play with those twiddle sticks over there. What? Good. The, yeah, fine. All right, so I, I, I don't want it. Just put it on my desk. I, I don't know why you're out here. I told you to stay in. You're not listening. None of them are listening. None of them are listening. I'm, and, and it's getting me frustrated. I asked you to do one little thing until mom comes out. But no, they, they just can't listen. <sighs> oh, guys, you don't understand. No. <laughs> you don't understand the frustration that I'm under right now. <sighs> Couldn't just go up there and just sit and play, could you, Frankie? Could you? Unbelievable. Oh, guys, this is what I deal with. <laughs> I don't deal with... Okay, so here it says, I finally got to watch another live, Jesse Hall. Yes, Mike is working. I can hear everything. <laughs> twiddle sticks. Yeah, here's the twiddle sticks, okay? Uh, I'll show you what the twiddle... They're not twiddle sticks. They're called wacky stick, Wacky links. Hold on a second. This is... That's an... Ex, uh, so I give Frankie... Okay, because he, he, he's got a problem with holding things. And so I gave Frankie, I got these at the Atlanta gift show back in uh, January where a, Chinese, a bunch of Chinese, a bunch of Chinese boo, a booths were there and uh, Chinese were everywhere in Atlanta. And then two weeks later, they shut it down. They're called wacky links. Okay, and they're little rubber straws, kind of like this. And then they had these really cool little connectors like this. And you just twiddle with them. You know, you just connect them like this, like this, like this. All right. And then, then you have like this one here. You have a connector like this. So you could, you could go like this, like this, and like this. You know, and you can almost make a hat. I don't know. But anyways, they're called they're called wacky links. Wacky links. I placed an order, but I never got them. <laughs> anyways, I thought they were fun little toys. Who ironed your shirts from my dad? Why? Is my shirt wrinkled? You think my shirt is wrinkled? Yeah, well, it's uh, it, I know when it irons my shirts. <laughs> Are you kidding? This is a uh, this is a uh, live shipping with Brian. Anyways, these are called Wacky Links. I gave Frankie some of these yesterday to play with. Okay. What are you doing, David? Put them upstairs. Go upstairs. Put them on the floor and play with them. They don't. They have zero attention span. Zero attention span. I I I don't get it. Zero attention span. Okay, so is the connectors hollow? No, the connectors are solid. I just I thought I showed you that. Okay, so let me. I'm gonna get. I gotta get to shipping here for a minute. But I'll. I'll. Jesse is a brand new person, so these are solid plastic. That's a link. Can ants crawl? Can ants crawl? No, the ants can't crawl through them. What are you talking about, Jesse? Or Jess? Hey, Xavier. Hey, he's thumbs up. Xavier is online. All right, guys. Now, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do some packing, okay? I don't have a lot of orders today. It kind of slowed down yesterday. 
Oh, first I got a uh, tanks. I got these tanks. I bought these tanks, okay? These are little 140, one, 144 scale tanks. I bought 50 cases of these things. Okay, they're like $3 a piece. Normally they sold for like $12. You get two tanks. I think I'm selling for like three bucks. And you can buy, you know, like they've got A1, uh, like a T these are T55s. You can get the T55 tank. They're plastic model kits. They snap together. They're a lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? Can you understand where I'm coming from? All right, so now we have to pack these up. I can't get them that way. Can't get them that way. That box isn't big enough. Let's see if this box is big enough. All right. So uh, we got a couple new people or, or one new person is listening. That's good. We're always trying to get more people watching my stupid uh, Shipping with Brian. Why you guys are watching me all day long or until I... We're going camping this weekend. Uh, we're going to... Um, uh, quiet, Frankie. We're going camping to Canton, Ohio. There's a KOA campground. And you know what's funny? Everybody is camping now. It's the hottest thing on earth. And I'm so glad I already booked up all my reservations for this year, last year. Because a lot of people... Uh, you have to, you literally have to book like the, my favorite campground is uh, Ocean Lake, Ocean Lake Campground in, in uh, Myrtle Beach, California, uh, Myrtle Beach, uh, 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 Myrtle Beach, uh, uh, South Carolina. It's called Ocean Lake. Google it. It's really a great campground. Anyways, you have to book a, a year ahead of time. And so the spot that we had last year, which is my fa favorite spot, it's <clears throat> what is it? it's called? It's 2180. <clears throat> it's a campsite, 2180. And <clears throat> we were there last year. And I went right after in June. We went in June. And right after we were finished camping, I went up to reservate for this year. They go, that one's sold out. I go, what? You got to be kidding. So I had to, uh, I had to book another spot. This is another thing we sold a Lego. I bought a bunch of these when they were closed out. And now I'm selling them at a Man, these are awesome. Boy, we got a lot of people online. Holy cow, what's going on here? Is it, am I really becoming exciting? Don't tell me you like watching me, okay? Because this, this is kind of eerie. No, I know what it is. They're just, you know, I don't know. Somebody thinks that I need my iron shirts ironed. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I, I don't have a lot of orders today. Oh, I did sell a beetle, a dune buggy, and a Christie. I finally sold a Christie. You're saying, what's a Christie? I'll show you in a minute. Right here. Plymouth. I'm, I'm by Fury, a Plymouth Fury. I got to get a, first I've got to get my uh, zombie buggy. So I sold a Plymouth Fury on the website, ProTinkerToys.com. Don't forget to go to ProTinkerToys.com. And I sold a Fury and a Beetle, a zombie bug. You know what's really, what I'm really sad about is, is all the, all the retail stores and all the small mom and pop stores that have been forced out of business by the government to me personally that's just criminal it's it should not have happened and it just makes me sad I, I i get sad about it because all these people they put their heart and sweat into it that is the baja buggy that's out of the uh, zombie set and he also bought a plymouth fury all right, so I have everything pulled. Like I said, I don't have a lot of orders, so I'm going to sit down and print up all the labels really quick. So you guys, I'll just kind of talk and uh, and uh, write everything. Are you going to keep on touching things? You're not listening, are you, Frank? Oh, I forgot one more thing. 
An Elf at F1 car. Elf F1 car. Let me get that real quick. Elf F1 car. Frankie, are you listening to me? I don't think so, Frank. All right, this is an Elf. There you go. Show that to the camera, what you just made. Go in front of the camera and show what you made. Here, go over here. Come here. Okay, so David would, uh, uh, was upstairs with his wacky link. He's going to show you what he made. Show him show him what you want. Or, oh, then don't come downstairs. If you don't want to get in the camera and show him, then why why come down? Da Frankie, leave him alone. All right, now he doesn't want Now he's shy. Now he doesn't want to come and show what he did. All right. So let's see. We have. Oh, yeah. I wanted to let everybody know. Okay, here's what he made. There's, there's what he made with his wacky link. See, guys? And I'm going to try to call this company and get my shipment in order. It's a fun toy, like if you're driving in a car. Okay? So anyway, this is another item I sold. An Elf. This is a Tyco 440 Tyco car. And that's another thing that we sold on our website. Okay, so let me uh, let me look at a couple of messages, and then I'm gonna, I got to get shipping. Okay, Ron, uh, he, is it an ant an ant farmer? LOL. Uh, hello, Brian. I sent you an email a couple of days ago. I'm looking for a couple of things. All right. Well, I I'll look to see. Oh, fun! A tank board game. Yes, that's right, Ron. A tank board game. Jesse Hull. They're a perfect size for a tank board game. Yes, they are. Uh, they are great. They're about this big. Uh, let's see. Ron, uh, is that a wacky link mask? Yes. That's a... <laughs> uh, no, this is an elf. Um, oh, wait a minute. That's not the right elf. I got to send him the right elf. Um there are two elf cars that I have. I have an elf car that has the, um, hold on a second. That's a good idea. I'm just kind of mumbling to myself here now. Cause I got to make sure I sell. Oh, here it is. There's two. Oh guys, that car's coming apart. Holy cow. That thing just fell apart. Sit down. This elf has the uh, Canadian flag on it. This elf does not. So I have to find another elf with a Canadian flag on it because this one fell apart. Uh oh, I didn't know there were two different types. Yeah, let's see here. Elf. Oh, here we go. Cannon Elf number five. Elf number five. One is uh, number five. So they made two of these number fives. I wonder if this was a, a typo. Because these are the two elves that I had. But see, one has a on the fin there. It says number five with a Canadian, and then the other one does not. So this must have been a typo, or this must have been. A, they didn't put that on there. Huh, that's amazing. I didn't know that. Now you learn something new every day. I need to get... He can't sit still. There's one thing that Frankie cannot do. Do you have any six-wheeled Elf F1 cars? Not... I don't have this six-wheel... I have the six... Uh, uh, I have this Elf car that's six-winged. But it's not HO. It's one thirty-second scale. I just got these in. I just got these in, and um, I showed these a couple days ago. The Terrell, the Terrell six wing, six wheel. Here, I'll show you what one looks like. These are on the website for ninety nine dollars. I, I I discounted. Them. Good job there. Good job. Now, are you going to go upstairs? I have these in stock. These are beautiful. 132nd scale. Check that out, guys. That's beautiful. Go to the website, protinkertoys.com, protinkertoys.com, and get yourself an elf. Six-wheeled elf.
Uh, Trail P34, six winged from 75. Yes, that's exactly what that is, Jesse. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my shipping mode, guys. I don't have that. I have to cancel that. I hate when I have to cancel an order at ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com. Sales have, uh, sales, have, sales have gone down a little bit, but that's, um, that is, can't always, we're going to go camping this weekend, hope to have a lot of fun, okay, so that's $8, shipping uh, priority, there we go, I got to print all my labels, guys, give me a minute here, um, I can't really watch messages, uh, so if you guys are talking to one another, um, cause you probably can see, I think everybody can see everybody else's message. Um, I think they can. So if you can see everybody kind of talk to each other while I'm doing my labels, cause this is what, this is what shipping with Brian is all about. I am shipping stuff out. <laughs> no, you're going to sit there, Frank, cause you didn't listen. No, you're not. Okay, no, you don't want to help. You're not listening. Right. All right, so I sold, uh, let's see here. Moses Garcia, he ordered a tank. I tell you, these tanks, they are really a good deal. You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on a second. All right, so give me a minute here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you these tanks and how to put them together. So, give me a minute here. Uh, uh. Okay, Brian. Okay, WC four me one. All right, WOC four me one. All right, hold on a second, guys. WC4 owe me one. Andrew, are you, uh, uh, Andrew, are you the, are you, Andrew, are you the W, uh, RC for me one? Okay. All right, you guys uh, keep on talking while I ship the uh, AR and D. Um, and the other one is an L. No, I'm not. Well, you, yeah, there you go. But you got to connect them all together. Everything has to have a connection. All righty, let me get uh, uh, John. Okay, John, you sent me an email. Where in the heck is John? John Schneider. Okay, questions. Uh, 114... Uh, hi, Fun. Do you have the following? They're not on the eBay. Uh, Elf is on eBay, but not on the site. The Marcos uh, GT LML uh, four four is not on the website. All right, John, I got those three items. Let me let me work on those. In uh, yeah, th that's cool. There you go. But they're not connected all the way, David. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Okay, very good. Okay. 
All right, very good. But try to do some more creative things. Uh, John, I'm going to send you an email here. I'm going to send you an email. I'm going to say, John, working, working, let's see, working on, on this after show. Or I'll, let me get all my shipping done, then I'll work on it while I'm talking, okay? So I got that done real quick. I got to get these labels printed, all right? So let me get these labels printed up. I got all my labels from ProTinkerToys.com. Let me do the labels. All right, so that, 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 and that. Boy, I only had six orders. Ugh. It's okay. It goes up and down, up and down. Weekends are where it's really crazy. My weekends, I you know, I go in and I think. You guys are so funny. All right, let's see. What do you do? Don't touch it. You, Frank, you're not allowed to touch it right now. International. Oh, these tanks are always going international. And the, the shipping for these tanks. Oh, my gosh. It's like. Okay, so. Two crossover tracks. Crossover tracks. These are great for your scale electric. And what you would do is you'd get a scale electric. Hold on, let me show you this real quick. You would get a scale electric uh, converter track. To, to be able to use these in your scale electric layout, you'd need these following items. I'm going to show you. La 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 la. You're going to use a skill electric converter track. All right. You're going to use the Ninko converter track, which then you'll be able to use the Ninko switch tracks. Isn't that cool? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to box these up, but I'm going to use my um, cardboard that I use. That was too small. Why do every you know you know where I sell most of those tanks is overseas. I think these guys are making giant games because I got like I have 20 different tanks. And you get two tanks per model kit. And they're really, um, I was I was thinking of designing a game for it, you know, a, a simple game. Or you could use, I, I have all my die cast guns, and I, and I was thinking, well, guys, just shoot them. <laughs> I thought that would be kind of fun. All righty, so... Let me tape this package shut. Oh, we need to uh, we need to be praying for all the people in Michigan, especially at, with those rivers that that have collapsed. I mean, that is just that's just. You know, the thing that I noticed was it wasn't just that the dams broke. It's, have you have you looked at the pictures of the water behind the dams? All that water is going to keep on coming. It's it's a, it's it's really uh, it's really sad. 
And so we really need to be praying for those people and, and donating. If you live in Michigan or you live somewhere, call a, a local uh, <clears throat> donation center. Make sure that they're legit. But uh, we need to be praying for all those people in Michigan because uh, they're they're not going to – their year is basically over in a sense of, of anything – they could do i mean think about it uh the whole their whole communities have just been washed away it's really sad but we need to be praying for them and praying for all the people that are out of jobs like in sandusky ohio that's where kalahari is and all those people that work at kalahari those are the unnamed people that you know nobody thinks about them i do i because I, i've been in business i've had a retail store for 10 years, 5 years, 3 years, and uh, I know what it is to have a business and to uh, not have money. I, I remember, I'll tell you one story, I remember opening up Young's Newsstand, and I expected to do $500 a day, that was my forecast, and I was doing $78, I literally was going into work at 6 in the morning, and then I, I had a chair in the back. I'd sit down and fall asleep. And about 9 o'clock, I'd wake up and I wouldn't have any customers. Right there. So anyway, uh, we need to pray for them. They can't handle it. Let's see. Maybe because the spring makes it strong for them. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dow plant, which makes... Yeah, the Dow plant plant got flooded. Okay, well take them upstairs, David. Put them back where they were upstairs. Okay, so I'm going to print these labels here, and then I'm going to package these. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, Dow Chemical, the, the, the one thing about Dow Chemical is the, the ponds they had uh, were not, um, it was basically just water, they're saying. Um, see, the fact of the matter, let me, let me tell you some facts about rivers, all right? The Texas uh, water, the Texas, uh, oh, what's it called, the Texas... No, it's the Tennessee uh, Water Authority. And there was a movie made about it uh, back in the 1950s with um, uh, Elizabeth um, Taylor and uh, Montgomery, uh, Robert Montgomery, or I think it was, or some Montgomery. I can't remember off the top of my head real quick. The Tennessee area used to flood all the time because of the river. Well, they, they created a series of dams. And it never floods anymore. And that's, but they did that, okay? But the environmentalists now want to say, you, know, you can't do that. You know, man can't do anything because we destroy everything. Well, we don't actually. And if they would start doing dams correctly, but see, the left doesn't want to have anything. We don't, they, they really, the left really wants us all to die, just to be honest. And so now I'm getting political. Thank you very much for getting me political. We need to have more dams. Like, for example, in uh, the Mississippi, we need to create the biggest lake, okay, along the Mississippi so it would never flood again. Well, what do you mean it can't? You can't. We can't do that. We're not that part. Oh, well, go look at Tennessee Valley Authority. Look at what they did. Now they want to tear it down. Now there's talk. Hey, sit down. Now there's talk they want to tear down some of the dams in the Tennessee Valley Authority. Oh, that's really smart. Anyways, okay, so that's my political talk. I'm not going to talk anymore about it. I just wanted to tell you that we should be praying for the the people that live in Michigan, Upper Michigan, because their lives are going to be disrupted for the next two or three years. Um, all right, so now I want to print. All right, so I printed labels. Now I write names on them. Okay, so that's track one 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 times two. Uh, that's for the Viper V I P E R. That's done. And then we have two of the Auto World cars. Auto World times two. And then I have 99005. That car's done. Uh, yep. So um, 
WRC for me. Did you get my message? Yes. Okay. That was terrible that the states knew the problem several years ago. Yeah. And they did nothing. You know, well, I can go into detail. If you want me to tell you the details of that, I can. Uh, but I will need you to tell me, yes, Brian, tell us the details. So, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, uh, Ryan from Preview, this is hundreds of apps choose from. Okay, so that's not what I want. Uh, let's see here. John Snyder, John Snyder, thank you. Uh, lost clues in uh, Ninko track, uh, not on the site either. Great, thanks. All these items that are not on my website. Okay, I've got to really concentrate on that. I think I'm going to concentrate on that over the next like next week um all right so all right now what i'm going to do is print out labels all right so i went ahead and did that so i can put that on that auto times two the viper right here the 905 so we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to pack this up first now everybody that buys Whenever you pull, whenever you buy something from me, either on eBay or on ProTinkerToys.com, we always, or I try to send you our little card, which gives you free shipping. See that? Free shipping. It says free shipping. See that right there? Free shipping. You understand that? See that, guys? See that? Free shipping. So I put these on all the items that are going to ship. Uh... All right, so I got my. We're going ship. We're going uh, camping this weekend. I need time off, honestly. I just. Uh, and then next week we're going to Old Man's Cave, not on the weekend because they're completely booked up. But we're going to go during the week, uh, Monday through Wednesday. Uh, so. Uh, Hope, hope the uh, communist uh, dictator of Ohio, Dumb DeWine, doesn't shut us down. So I hope uh, Dumb DeWine doesn't shut us down. I tell you. Okay, guys. All right, I got some new envelopes to put stuff in. Dodge Viper. John, I'll probably I'll try to get to all those cars done once I get once we sign off. Frankie, if you don't sit back down there, you're gonna get spanked. And everybody online is gonna hear me spank you. Yes. Now Yes, I'm sorry. I believe in capital punishment. I believe in spanking your children. If you don't spank your children, um, I mean, I I don't do it every day. I hardly ever do it, actually. It's a deterrent. <laughs> it, is, it is a deterrent. All right, so we have this golf. I've got to pack this golf really Especially because it breaks. All right, so we're going to, I can't, when I'm talking like this, guys, I can't read your messages. So you have to wait until I sit down again. So if you've met, made a message for me, uh, I can't read until I sit down, just so you know, FYI. So you guys can talk to each other and, and, and may have conversation and all that. But... I can't read any of those messages yet. I don't have somebody that's, I don't have, uh, I don't have somebody here all the time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So basically, oh yeah, this is Brian Young with ProTinkerToys.com. Shipping with Brian. Uh, we are going to be doing a live podcast every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now you'll get a, if you, oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and and give us thumbs up and like us and subscribe us because then you'll get a notification every time when I go live. All right. So make sure you do that in the things in below. And if you don't, then you won't get the information that I'm going live. Now, it's probably going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays unless I'm out of town. Like in June, we're going to be gone for like three weeks because 
but I'm going to do live broadcast. Uh, one in Myrtle Beach, and I'm going to bring some. I'm going to bring a race set with me to Myrtle Beach, and I'm going to set it up on the picnic table and do a live broadcast of racing to myself. Well, not myself, but. And then when I go to Mount Rushmore, I'm going to do a live broadcast at Mount Rushmore. Okay, so we're going to try to do a lot of live broadcasts. I'm going to live broadcast while I'm driving to Mount Rushmore in my camper. Okay, so it's going to be driving with Brian. You know, so everybody will have what, David? What, David? No, I, 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 I don't. I, there's nothing to be helped with. You're going to be going with mommy pretty soon. Okay. Okay, now why did I pack that? Because I don't see an order for that. Slot cars and sandcastles. You know, that's a good idea. How about slot how about RC cars and slot and sandcastles? Oh, and also I'm a expert sandcastle builder. And so let me see if I can show you a picture of one of my sandcastles. Actually. Where do you, can you go to see some of my old sandcastles? Um, I don't know if... You know, that's a good question. My I have some huge sandcastles. You know, I've got some videos. I'll go upload these videos onto my website so you can see some of my sandcastles I build. They're amazing. Okay, like, share, and subscribe. Yep, like, share, and subscribe, LOL. What does that mean, like, share, and subscribe, LOL? I was, uh, uh, was, okay. Okay, on shipping, okay, yes, I've been shipping out. Uh, I've been shipping out. These are all the free cars. When you bought, when you bought a snake mongoose, you're going to get a free car. And I've been shipping those out staggeredly over the last couple days. I just shipped out like 20 of them yesterday. Well, then go inside and check with mom to see if she's ready, okay? All right, now there is an order that I'm supposed to, that I got. I swear I thought I saw this order, but now I don't see it. What, where, where is this order? Huh. A box of... Oh, there it is. Where's that label at? Matrix X. What is Matrix? Martrix? Ford Flex. Oh, a survey. Well, they wanted me to do a survey. That's going to take me some time. All right, let's see here. Brian Young, do not bend. That is service vehicle. No, I don't want that. Bill pay. Brian Young, who sent me a bill pay? Oh, my daughter. Catherine sent me some money. I love when my kids send me money. Oh, look at that. My daughter, Catherine, sent me $100 because she owed me her money, and she's actually paying me back. I just love that when my daughter pays me. I love when my kids send me money because that is so nice. So I have $100 that I can go spend on me. This is my money. Oh, good. Okay. Now, all right. So um, let's see. Uh, hi, Tony. I just ordered a box of SCX poor slot cards. One more. Uh, 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 cars can you ship today all right so tony tony this guy tony i don't know who he thinks he is tony i you know all these people they they think they can just tell me what to do and just tell me to ship something right now where's that shipping label where'd that label go all right you know what all right come on
Where'd that label go? I just printed it. I think I'm losing my mind. You're, 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 you're getting me upset, Frank. My blood is going to boil. Well, you're in trouble right now. You're in called, tr I'm trouble out time, okay? I'm not the one that didn't, that uh, didn't listen. Okay, so to Antonio, Antonio basically is telling me, he's saying, Hey, Brian, I just ordered a box of SCX Porsche cars. Can you ship today? So, let's see, uh, 831 Oh, 8310, 8310, a Porsche. So, Tony ordered a box of Porsches. Now, let me see if I have a box of Porsches. I took a bunch of, I took a bunch of them out of the boxes. Um, uh, so, Tony wants me to get on my hands and knees and look for his cars. Um, let me see here. Porsche. That's the minority. 4110. Porsche 490. 490. You should have ordered the... Okay. 490, 410. Porsche 410. 490. 490, 490, 490, 410. Here we go. 410, 410, and 310. All right. So, and Antonio just ordered four of the Porsche. 83310, that's what Antonio just purchased. Okay, so this is his item. He ordered four of these. And so I'm going to take these four cars. And I am going to get, I'll use an SCX box just so that he's happy. I'll put them in a Cadillac North Star box. I take them all out. I show them in the box because you're basically buying a case of them. So that's why. I hope you don't mind, Antonio. I don't have them in the case. Um, plus, uh, that one. I'm going to give a little better one for him. This one's better. Okay, Antonio, there we go. I got your four Porsches in there. Two pounds exactly, Antonio. So that's two pounds. Frankie. All right, that was for the... Uh, Fury. Okay, so now I have to make the label for Antonio. Antonio! Hey, Antonio! Got your cars all packed up, and now I'm printing your label, buddy. Right here we go, Antonio. Let's see here. What? Two boxes, two pounds. $7.64. I'm printing that label for Antonio. I'm saying Porsche wrong? How do you say Porsche? Porsche, Porsche. You guys are crazy. So this is Brian Young. I'm Brian Young, if you didn't know. This is Pro Tinker. This is my workshop. Uh, I think the only person that is watching today that's ever been to my workshop is Ron Gardner. Okay, so he basically is the only one that's been in this Shangri-La. Back there is my big... Uh, 70 inch TV. That's my toy room. Okay, we have all the stuff, all the stuff, all the stuff. Okay, Ron Gardner's the only one here. He's only been here once. 
Oh, and by the way, Ron Gardner, he made a, uh, you might want to go, he sent me an email last night about if you've got the WOS system, Antonio just placed it. Okay, so I have Antonio's uh, label here. I hope Antonio doesn't, uh, uh, I hope he's not embarrassed. Okay, so that's in time. I'm not going to show your address, Antonio. I'll just, I'll just block out your address. But I want to show everybody that Antonio, Antonio, Antonio's, that's Antonio's shipping a, a label. That's his label, Priority. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on his item right here like this. See this? That is going to the post office and it will be shipped today, Antonio. Yes, sirree. Yes, sirree. Okay, so um, LOL, Ron Garner. Yes, Ron. Anyway, so Ron, Ron is came, come out. Ron is what you call, how do I define Ron? How do I define Ron and not have his head explode? Um, uh, let's see here. How do I, how do I define Ron? Okay, Ron Gardner. Okay, Ron Gardner is is your quintessential. Oh shoot! Oh, let, let me think about this for a second. Oh, here it is. Okay, if you've ever watched the original Nutty Professor, okay, Ron Gardner is just a guy that is just he's got so much. He's got so much. Um, See, okay, how do I define it? Okay, I am a thinker. Okay, I've got I've got a million ideas that I want to want to do. Okay, you need several factors to put a whole car together. I can think up different toys and things. I've got things in my head that I want to make. Then I need an engineer to actually help put it together. Then the money to build it. Ron is that guy that if I give an idea to him, he'll, he'll, he'll create, he's got that, he knows electronics, he knows everything, which I'm not an expert in that at all, okay? But I can explain to Ron, hey, Ron, this is what I'd like to do. And all of a sudden, that, that brain of Ron's would just start, all the little neurons start firing and everything. And all of a sudden, he's thinking a million things in his head because that's what Ron is. Ron's like this huge computer that is about ready to explode because he's got so many ideas. You know, somebody, you know, at, at either Apple or somebody should figure out who Ron is and hire him because he's probably the most brilliant person I think I've ever met. Anyways, that's my, uh, I think you're having a stroke. Yes, I am. Anyways, um, uneducated genius. No, that's not true. Do you realize that's uneducated, you know, College is not everything. Do you realize that that uh, John D. Rockefeller was not a college graduate? He never went to college. There are a lot of people that have not gone to college. Okay, college stifles a lot of what goes on in this brain. Just so you know. All right. So uh, now, uh, oh yeah, let me. Uh, I just want to do one more label, and then I want to show you these tanks. So let me get. Um, I gotta get these tank. This is going to Australia, when you know it. This is going to Australia. These guys, they buy these tanks. So I bought these tanks. He's paid $30 for these tanks, and the shipping is $40, okay? And, um, and, and the weight on this thing is crazy. It's 3.3 pounds. But you know what? They've got this new shipping now through um, $60? No way. $60. Oh my gosh. I can't ship them to Australia for $40. $54. The cheapest I can do is $54. I have to change that. International shipping on this stuff is crazy. Oh, yeah. So anyways, Ron Gardner has created this interface. OK, it's it's basically a PS interface or PC interface for WOS. 
so that you will you can connect it to your PC and and do lap counters, speeds, and all that kind of stuff. And you want to go to virtualracing.com, virtualracing.com, and and Ron will probably send a message here uh, and put it in the notes, Ron, a live chat saying. Uh, and give them the link to www.virtualraceway.com. Uh, w O S uh, L C H T M L. Uh, it's a W. It's an S C X W O C P C lap counter page instruction. So he does a lot of that. He loves to be a tinker, a tinkerer. Um, I can't ship these for 30 bucks now. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Shipping is just, it's almost like you can't, it's almost like you can't afford to ship something. And shipping is really just another cost of, of what something is you have to almost add that to the manufacturing of that item and just say okay well here's if you want my product well here's what the cost is okay because fridge everybody thinks that shipping is free and it's really not now on the pro, pro ticker website you know we have a flat of six dollars and ten dollars so we know okay so like on a race set i can ship a race set anywhere from eight to fourteen dollars okay so, you know, I'm I'm losing on some, but then I'm kind of breaking even on others. So it's not it's not free for you, but it's not free free against me either. I'm trying to get a little to cover some of that expense. And that's what business is all about, you know. You know, oh, I could keep going. I could I could talk for 4 hours about retail and business and how the government is screwing up. Oh, you don't even want me to go there. Uh, I, but you do. I know you do. You're probably saying, yeah, we want to, uh, I, okay, Jesse Hill, I shipped a car to Australia and it was 1.5 times more expensive than the part. Yes. Yes, that's true. Um, all right, I'm going to do one more car and then I'm going to show you these tanks. Well, the last day of school is today. My wife's picking up all the kids' school supplies, and uh, uh, they got to get all the crap that's at the schools. That's that was a that was a fiasco, shutting the schools down for all the kids. I tell you, some of our politicians are the dumbest people on earth. I mean, they are so dumb. No, seriously, I, I'm not kidding. They they are they are dumber. I, I really I don't know why we vote these people in office, and and that's the problem. They 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 have no idea what they're doing. And I'm talking both of them. I, I'm talking Republican and and I'm a Republican. Okay, if you haven't figured out I'm conservative, well then then I hope that doesn't offend you because if it does, as John Wayne Wayne said, a man ought to do what a man thinks is best. Or no, he said, it's in Hondo. He says, a man ought to, you ought to, you, nah, come on, I know this all the time. A man, ought, a man ought to do what he thinks is best. Okay, now, John Wayne was not a perfect person, no, by any way. I'm not saying that, okay, so get off my back. I'm just saying that uh, I'm a conservative Republican, I've always been, and, uh, what are they doing? Oh, yeah, I need to pack this up. And uh, I'll call out an idiot if I call out. And there, we have a lot of Republican idiots. And we have a lot of de Democratic idiots, too. So don't just tell them picking on Republicans. I'm picking on both of them. Because they're, what they've done over this shutdown, they should all be criminally prosecuted. Especially for all these small businesses that are going out of business. I think it's criminal, personally. But that's just my opinion. And I'm just Brian Young. And I'm just the uh, owner of Professor Tinker's. ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just telling you, I'm not just telling you, that's the way it is, baby. If you don't like it, you know, that's just the way it is. 
that's just the way it is, you know. I'm not, I'm not telling you anything. I'm just telling you everything. I'm telling you the way it is, buddy. That's all there is to it. Yep, we. Okay. Now, as soon as I get this packed, I got about 10 minutes, and then I'll do a quick video on these tanks. All right. Because I know Ron Gardner and his friend Jess seems like uh, they'll come out with the instructions, and Ron can write me instructions and then email them to me, and then I can sell sell this as a game. So, and uh, I'll pay you guys. Uh, let's say, uh, let's see, let's let's let me let me just do something off the cuff, okay? So, all right, so you get figure out how many tanks per side. Figure out a dice game for these tanks, um, and uh, like what? What? Maybe a one page, one to two page instruction. Okay, make it a simple game with dice with these tanks, and I'll give you a hundred bucks, Ron. Give me the rules for that. I'll send you a couple tanks. Get me, send me your email, an email with your address. I'll send you a couple tanks. So you'll have tanks to play with. Okay, how's that, Ron? Is that a good idea? If not, don't worry about it. You know, it's just an idea. All right, so that Chimia is 3.8 pounds. Watch, that's going over to Germany. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! Rod Gardner, John Wayne is so <laughs> Sokol, SoCal. Yes, he was in SoCal, but that California back when was more conservative than it is now. Your leftist commie pinkos got a hold of that. Uh, that's just my opinion, but that's just who I am, guys. I don't hide. I don't hide about it. Okay, so where is this set going? California. It figures this is the $15. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe this is going to California. Sunny Duhong. Duhong. Sunny Duhong. You know, all these masks, all these people that are wearing these masks, they have no idea that they are not even the light lead at least helpful for anything. They are a useless, useless, useless. Do not buy a mask. I'm telling you right now, save your money. Go buy a hamburger at McDonald's. 1915 1915-3. 1915-3. 1953. 1953. How much did that weigh? No, why is this? You guys are going to get me in trouble. Okay, so three seven, three pounds. Don't forget, I can't hear you when I'm shipping labels. I'm seeing if it's cheaper to ship it by postal. It's sixteen dollars. He paid fifteen, so I'm gonna lose a dollar on that. Ooh, twelve dollars part carrier. Leave it sure post, so I can save money with sure post. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a new facility that uh, UPS is, has. Um, uh, has created UPS has created a new thing that part of my shipment goes UPS and then the last part goes to the postal service. Um, how that is cheaper, I don't know. I, I anyway, yeah, these uh, these masks. Oh my gosh, I I and I see people wearing them and they're driving their cars and. Okay, see, can I explain something to you guys? Do you mind if I s explain something to you? Can I tell you something that's very important? Can I, please? Would you let me tell you something? Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
Can I tell you something that's real important? Would you mind if I told you something? Mark is useless. Respirator, however, is a kind of okay. Well, a respirator is completely different, first of all. It's a machine that is designed for that. So let me see if I can get this down without ruining it, okay? All right, so these are the tanks. And uh, you basically get two tanks in a box. You get two tanks in a box. And they just snap out. They're not... Now, you can glue them if you wanted to, and I do glue them. But, you know, they're really tiny pieces, all right? You got your body here. Like, this one's got a broken turret on it, so... Actually, both these have broken turrets. You know, they have a little piece here to hold the turret on the top of the tank. Okay, so they just... I'm going to do a painting video here in a couple days, probably next week. It's going to be painting with Brian. So you basically snap that in there. So see how the turret then moves? So you can incorporate that, Ron, in your rules that your turret has to be firing the direction... You know, I don't know how you'd figure that out, but I'm sure Ron will figure it out. So then you have your body of your tank, okay? Then you have your, your tracks, which then snap. They snap to the side of the uh, chassis of the tank. And, um, no, that's wrong. But it, each one fits in the right side of the tank. All right. I have about 19 different tanks. I'm pretty sure they're on um, ProTinkerToys.com. Let me see that here. Let's see. Uh, uh, Pro Tinker. Let me type in tanks, T-A-N-K-S. Yeah, yeah, I got them all there. They're $2. These are $2.63 for two tanks, okay? Now, don't tell me that's not a great deal, okay? So this is, so this is the tank, and then you put the, you put the top on the body like this. See, look at that. See that little tank? And, you know, you just, I got M1s, Abrams, mostly Soviet tanks, and American tanks. So you could have a good battle between American and Soviet tanks. But you get two tanks in a box. They come with the instructions, easy instructions. And then there's some other little detail pieces, like little tank barrels here. And... Uh, extra parts that you can paint. I'm going to show you how to paint them uh, because painting them is really cool. Um, and you can just build yourself a little tank and make a little tabletop game. What do you think, Ron? You think you can do that? You want to earn a hundred bucks, Ron? How do you think? What do you think, Ron? Ron, tank chess. I already is al already too similar to my game idea. Tanks move and turn with move points as well as turn the turret. But there is no dice. It's just larger uh, It's just larger wins. No dice? You got to have dice, Ron. Okay, well, I got everything done for today, guys. Uh, this is Brian Young. This is Brian Young. Attention, attention. This is Brian Young coming from the from the Shangri-La bunker. Shangri-La bunker. This is the Shangri-La bunker in Wayne, Ohio. In Wayne, Ohio. This is ProTinkerToys.com. ProTinkerToys.com in Wayne, Ohio. And we will be signing off here. We've been on one hour. And we thank everybody for watching my live broadcast of
Shipping with Brian. And don't forget, John, I'm going to get your items up listed right now. I'm going to find them all, take pictures of them, and get them on ProTinkerToys.com. ProTinkerToys.com. And we'll see you later on the other side. And I might do a video of us camping this weekend and post it, okay? I might do a live one as we're camping because I like to have a cigar at night. And I might do a cigar and have it call it, I'll call it... Um, the night thought, night thoughts with Brian. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Have a nice day. Flames of War already produced. Game called Tanks. Those tanks would be perfect for this game. Jesse, you're welcome. Thanks for Lang uh, Langley. Thanks from Langley. BC. Graham, thanks a lot for watching. I want to thank everybody that was watching today. I do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give us thumbs up, okay, so that we can continue grow our movement so that people enjoy the hobbies. Thank you. Goodbye.